to Kero versus uh, Tanzin, right? Yes, we're skipping some fights. We got to talk about the Um Ramiro has not seen this fight yet. Uh, yeah, I was told to hold off so we can uh, watch together. Yeah, a little bit later on the day, you were like, "All right, I'm just starting these fights now," and I was like, "Skip to Karu. Let's watch it on stream." Okay, we'll just rock with this. Okay. <clears throat> no audio is fine. Good leg kick by Takeru. And so Takeru's last did... matchup again, Will? Super was leg. his debut for, yeah, it, but it was the debut, right? At one. Yeah. Super leg. That was a fantastic fight as well. Yeah. Came up short, but it was a, I mean, one of the best fights I've ever seen. And this is his first fight back after like leg injuries from that fight, long layoff. Ooh, beautiful step in the hook. Right hand, or right leg, sorry. And, uh, and Tanzan's a savage, bro. Burmese dude just is just <laughs> coming in for the kill, dude. Trying to be the spoiler here. <laughs> yeah, nobody told him he's supposed to lose, huh? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Big nice right combo. hand from Tanzan. Hand right. And so yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about Tanzan in, in the meantime. Well, he's been killing it on Friday fights. I mean, the guy's a berserker just a straight up berserker so this is a um, big shot for tons in right here yes yes this is a big a big opportunity a lot, people, a lot of people are saying this is a tune-up fight for takara right that's what the kind of narrative is going into this um okay quick jab give him a tune-up fight so that he can fight rod tang after and tonsin's like call me a tune-up fight one more time <laughs> <laughs> i dare you because i mean dude he cracks tons in cracks oh dude he is so hype like yeah. every single time he gets hit look at him he gets yeah. super pumped. Calling Smitty for says, more. Man, Tanzin is going to be so good. Uh, only 19 He's is only crazy. He's only 19? <laughs> yes, bro. So many savages. He just okay, covers so like much a little distance. Shovel hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With that shovel hook and then he follows up with that nice left. Good Leg low kicks kick. continued, yeah. A calf kick from Takeru, dude. Really Money. good. Money. That'll stop someone from exploding, you know? Covering all that distance. Both these guys in fantastic shape. That right straight down the pipe for Takeru was really nice. Right back to that calf kick. Ooh, you could tell Zin felt that one too. He had that little hop step instead of actually uh, planting mm. on that left. There's a switch stance. He thought he was going to throw it. The uh, That low calf kick is hard to check. Oh, oh with a oh. big left hand. See, dude, you just mentioned the fact that he covers a lot of distance. And yeah. again, so so uh, tuna fight and Zin drops the yeah. arrow. Now it's a real fight. <laughs> yeah Takeru's like talk to my agent right now call my agent yeah this wasn't how this was supposed to happen oh, oh. nice left hand there yeah I love that Takeru snap kick to the body right there too very little warning that that leg's coming yeah like he doesn't telegraph that that kick at all remember he hurt uh, super leg to the body with that same Don't kind of kick dare say that nobody hurts super leg <laughs> Okay. So big first round big for Tanzin. Big first round for Zin. Oh, my yeah, God. Dude. I mean, it's a 10-8. Somebody fix his hair. Somebody fix Takeru's yeah. hair. Uh, Blunderbub says Takeru uh, really slow uh, out of the gate the first round. Um, Chummy Boy says Takeru got his uh, got jab. This time at least, yeah, the jab is good. Rod Tank's shaking his head in the crowd, dude. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, don't, don't let this fight slip. Yeah, Chester says uh, Zin's stance... Very similar to what Super like did against Takeru, leaning forward on his front foot. Oh, Takeru just got very lazy at the end of that combo, thinking that he was going to step yeah. away. Because most of Zen's combos leading up to was a 1-2, right? Yeah. This time he followed up with that left hand. Yeah, very very smart for a 19-year-old Zen coming in against uh, Takeru. Yeah, and Takeru learns a valuable lesson there of like, hey, man, can't just get lazy on the exchange, at the end of an exchange here. Can't lesson just move learned. backwards and think I'm safe now. That left hook is lightning fast for Zen. Yeah, he's got great hand speed, dude. There he goes again. That like long extended one two. Oh, this fight's intense. And to carry just moving straight backwards is a scary thing, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, got an angle, man. <laughs> There's a good check, but then a jab. And very beautiful, beautifully timed jab from Zen. There's that kick again, man. I'm telling you, he doesn't telegraph that. So nice. Yeah, his lead leg kick is crazy, man. He, he, dude, I so really crazy. like his shorts, dude. <laughs> yeah. They're so sick. Sorry, everybody. Uh, <laughs> like Everybody's like breaking down the technical stuff. I'm like, his shorts are really nice. Yeah. 
Zin's so hype, man. Look at him. Beautiful extended combo again. Dude, he's not backing oh, down. Yeah, swang and banging, dude. He's not backing down. Okay, Takeru woke up. Ooh. Look at him. Ooh. <clears throat> dude, okay. Takeru in the pocket is crazy, man. He hits so hard. I like his head movement coming in, too. Oh, nice, nice step in the body. I like it. This is a fun fight. Nice knee there, too. Oh, big right hand. Dude, Tons Mix in. <laughs> what a chin. Tons in has that, that one, two. Mm -hmm. But then Takiro's doing a good job mixing up different lead shots in the beginning. See, like that's the right kick to the body. Oh. Sometimes he throws that left. That knee, see? It's yeah. Just, he's mixing it up really, really well. Can't catch the kick there. That's what the ref's saying, kickboxing. Big oh right hand. God. And Zin not even phased. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that one looked like it hurt though. That knee to the solar plexer. Yeah. Woo. And Takara's oh, right Takeru. hand. Takara looked like he's getting a little, little wild there, huh? <laughs> Look. Ooh. That front kick to the body is so nice. Because it's the same entry as the knee, right? Oh. Oh, there it is. Oh. I got to see that in slow motion because it looks like the toes just dug right into the sternum. Yeah, Blundrop says when he turns it up this round, it's yelling at my TV. Show that young man who is in there. With <laughs> oh, and oh right he goes back right, to the body. right back to the well. Oh, he's Tons just attacking hurt. the body at this point. But Zin, oh, my oh. God. Oh, Zin's still dangerous, though. Oh, no. Oh, poor Zin. Yeah, it's Crumbled. a tough one. Crumbled. What, what dropped him on that one? I believe it was a left hook or a right hook. I don't think this is going to show a replay. Nope, that's already over. Oh, Rotang must be pretty happy, huh? Yes, did you see? Oh, you didn't. You didn't see it. We'll show it because it's great. So that one, it looked like he's continuing to work to the body. He gets him with that knee. Hits that right. Oh, left. That left it was hook. a left. The left hook yeah. to the temple. Yeah. What beautiful work there from Takeru, man, to finish the fight. Very good stuff. And then, um, let's see. It's like he just uh, shifted into a different gear that second round. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he really, really went for it after that. Uh, but then, we won't do this with audio. Same thing. What's this? Oh, okay, oh. little face-off. Raw tank clapping off. from a little shaky of the hands. Okay. Liking the chain from <laughs> Look Raw Tank. Look at dude. <laughs> oh, he's super pumped, too. Hype, dude. <laughs> As he should, man. Yeah, the... He, um, go ahead. Did he win a bonus? Uh, I don't remember if he got a bonus or not. Um, but... <laughs> they're like, we're already paying you enough, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, hey, man. <laughs> yeah, you're already making enough. Uh, this is always this is funny too. The whole interview, he kept trying to get get the mic from Mitch. <laughs> Mitch was like, "Nah, dude, I'm keeping that thing." Uh, oh, okay. But Chachi said they forth. are already signed. Oh, they already signed the bout agreement. Oh, oh, bro, look oh, at Takeru, okay. dude. Takeru was ready to go right then and there. Just so happy. You could see that the video we watched of the fight. Uh, it doesn't show everything, right? But, um. He is. You can tell he's so stoked and so relieved when they when they called the fight. He's running around screaming. He does a backflip off the the turnbuckle. Um, <laughs> you gotta put the audio of Takeru's rot dang <laughs> the way he says it. Dude. Uh, awesome. We can't. We'll we'll, we'll uh... <laughs> and the Jinko jeans, dude. The Jinko jeans are back. I see him a lot. More. Are they really? I think they are. Uh, but yeah, that. Uh, Pretty fucking awesome, right? That's yeah. like, it, does it get better than that? I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm super hyped for that fight already, though. And Tan Zen, dude, I'm I'm hyped to see his next fight. You know, he did a great job. Dropped him. He dropped him. He dropped him. Did a great job. Uh, yeah. Somebody mentioned already. He's only 19 years old. Holy smokes! What were you doing at 19, huh? Not that, dude. <laughs> Not that. So props to Tan Zen as well. Absolutely yeah, great fight, shot, great dude. pictures, great shots. One always has fantastic photography going. Yeah, they really do. Um, dude, but yeah. You, your boy Takeru's ripped though, huh? Bro, Takeru, it, the guy, he's so special, man. Like this dude, when they signed him, I was like, what in the fuck? 
That's crazy. Because I remember I was trying to get you to watch the match. And the match was him versus Tension. It was huge. Yeah. And then it was so big. And, and all his stuff through K1 was so cool. He's such a savage. And then that fight with Tension was amazing. It should have been five rounds, but it wasn't, whatever. And then he signed to one. And it was like, oh, my God, dude. This is going to be amazing. And here it's we Smitty. are, dude. That's a great question but, from Smitty. Uh, do they even risk Rod Tang in Atlanta now? There are lots of rumors that Rod Tang is off that card. Um, who knows what happens? Um, and I'm going to say this with all due respect. I remember I said with all due respect. Uh, the Rod Tang matchup for Atlanta is not one that he should lose. And there's a reason I think that that fight was booked. And how we were talking about how a lot of people thought this Takeru fight was going to be a tune-up fight, even though Tanzin said, I'm no fucking tune-up for anybody. Going into it, that's kind of what it looked like. And it was like, hey, Takeru, here's a fight for you to get back into the swing of things, and then you can fight Rod Tang. It'd be rude of us to have you fight Rod Tang after right so much away. time off and an injury. Yeah. So have this fight. You could say the same thing for Rod Tang. His match uh, is kind of just like, a, hey, stay active while Takeru has his fight, and then... You guys can then fight. Plus, it gets Takeru a win, and I think a Nick uh, Atkin, by the way. If anybody didn't watch the uh, predictions episode, definitely go watch it. Nick Atkin did a fantastic job. But he also mentioned what getting a W for Takeru does for the Japanese market, right? Oh, Versus huge. just throwing him against killer after killer after killer. And if he goes yeah. 0-3 for his contract yeah. in one, what does that do for that market, right? So exactly. I think it's a smart move all the way around. Yeah, and I think they do. They were supposed to do a Japan card uh in october uh next month and it fell through so january now so i'm thinking yeah they gotta have they gotta have a japan card early next year due to keru versus rotting on that hey one fly your boys out there you know what i mean fly we're your ready boys to in japan we're ready to cover we're ready to cover the fights we're ready <laughs> <laughs>